consistent for years but if you're not applying these tips and if you don't understand how youtube works it's gonna take it's gonna <laughs> Poppin' beautiful people, it's your girl Sha, and welcome to my world. If you've seen my other videos, welcome back, and if you haven't as yet, be sure to check them out, and welcome to my channel. Woo! So in today's video, as you can see by the title, I'll be sharing with you guys how I gained 1,000 subscribers in two weeks, and I'll be giving you guys 10 plus tips, I'll be giving you guys 10 plus tips on how you can grow your YouTube channel in 2020. So before I started my channel, obviously I was watching a lot of videos on how to grow my channel, how to start a YouTube channel, and I've noticed that they basically give you the same tips over and over. It's about consistency, it's about having a good personality, it's about good quality. And don't get me wrong, all of these things are super important, but it's way more to that, especially if you wanna grow your channel. So today I will be spilling the tea on how to grow your channel so keep watching this video and let's get right into it all right so the first thing i want to get into is not a tip but just to make something clear in order to get your channel monetized you need 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours watch hours not minutes watch hours so the first tip i want to get into is <laughs> get a notebook it does not have to be expensive it can be tiny it can be big I know you can write video ideas on your phone but I would really recommend to get a notebook special for YouTube where you can you know write your video ideas keep track of your analytics your statistics your subscriber count watch minutes watch times even when you're a small youtuber I just think it's super handy because in that way you can keep track of what videos are bringing in the most watch time what videos are bringing the most subscribers, which videos are getting the most attention, you know? So get a notebook. And if you have a notebook already, get it right now to make notes of the tips I will be giving you. <laughs> All right, so the second tip I wanna get into is title and thumbnail. This is the first thing people see before they watch your video. Thumbnail is this, it's just the picture that people click on to get to your video. But if you look at my video that took off, the abs in two weeks, Chloe Ting's challenge, I put a before and after picture. So in the before picture, I had a stomach and in the after picture, you know, I lost a lot of weight and people are going to wonder, hmm, how did she do that? Click in your title. If you're asking a question, abs in two weeks, people are going to be like, hmm, abs in two weeks, click. You got to make people question. You got to make them want to click your video. You understand the third tip I want to get into is the first five seconds of your video so after someone's seen your thumbnail or title and click on your video the first thing they're gonna see is the first few seconds of your video and that will determine if that person is gonna watch your whole video or click right off of your video so I would really recommend to always start your video with something either funny like a funny clip during the video or a very interesting part of your video which will make them think like hmm Okay, I actually want to watch the rest of this video. I want to see where in the video this part is going to come in. I really hope I'm making sense because I know what I'm trying to tell you guys, but I really hope y'all are feeling me. For my fourth tip, I want to touch on consistency because at the end of the day, it's super important. But what I would advise you guys here is to have a standard day and a standard time where you'll be uploading. For instance, mine is every Tuesday at 10 p.m. Netherlands time. This way people will know when to look out for your video because if you're just posting anytime, all days of the week, unless people have on your post notifications and unless you're posting on your other social media platforms, that's the only way people are going to see it. But if you have a standard day and a standard time, people are going to be like, hey, it's Tuesday, Shaz dropping a video at 10 p.m. tonight. I'm going to look out for it. My next tip is to interact. When people comment on your pictures, when people comment on your videos or pictures on Instagram, wherever, if you want to be this social media type of figure, you have to interact. When someone comments on your video, reply back, say something nice. You never know. Might be a new subscriber. So interact. Don't just heart the comments. My next tip is 
to not really start your channel off with a q a or intro video i mean i did that and you can do it as well but as long as you know that those videos are not going to take off in the beginning because nobody knows you i mean your family your friends you know the people you know are going to watch it but no one is typing in your name and then q a the next tip i want to get into is copyright Ooh, such an important topic copyright is when you use someone else's song on your video YouTube will automatically detect that you're using someone else's song in your video and you'll get a copyright claim when you get a copyright claim your video will be ineligible for monetization so when I was just starting out with YouTube I was not thinking on monetization because I was like bro that's not gonna happen now you know I want lit music on my videos I want to get lit but here I am with a monetized channel and six videos ineligible for monetization. Who child? YouTube has an audio library with tons of songs. I mean, they're not the best, but I would definitely recommend to use those and not take the risk of using someone else's music in your videos. What also gets copyrighted is instrumental music. I use instrumentals in the background of my videos and still got copyrighted. Instrumentals, originals, don't use them. You know, they say you can use it for like five to 10 seconds and you won't get copyrighted, but YouTube's system is getting better by the day and I would really recommend to not take the risk. Next tip is to have a list of video ideas. When I started YouTube about a year ago, July 2019, I had like three videos lined up and guess what after those three videos I did not post for like five months because yeah I didn't know what to post in that same notebook I told y'all to get make a list of video ideas just 50 to 100 period the next tip I want to get into as you can see, I stopped saying numbers because I've lost count of where we are. But the next step I want to get into is to see if you're able to monetize your channel in the country you're living in. Like I know um, where I'm from, St. Martin, you're, you're not, you can't monetize your channel. If you're like doing this YouTube thing to like, you know, make money and start a business and stuff please check to see if you're able to monetize your channel in your country because then you can blow up on YouTube and not get money for it just because of where you live. Next, I want to get into the algorithm. Let me get the actual definition for y'all. What is the algorithm? What is the algorithm? Algorithm. A process or set of rules to be followed in calculations or other problem-solving operations, especially by a computer. Hmm. YouTube's goal is to keep people on their platform for as long as possible. So basically how it works, I'm going to try and explain this to you guys right now. So basically, if they see that a certain video is doing pretty good and people are watching this video, they are going to promote this video and push it out to try and get more people to watch it so they can stay on the platform. And that video will pop up in recommendations on YouTube. It will pop up on people's home pages when they open the YouTube app. YouTube will basically just blow this video up. And that's what I mean by consistency is not the only important thing because J. Cole said I don't know why I'm always quoting these artists, but J. Cole said, the good news is you came a long way, but the bad news is you went the wrong way. Bro, I'm sorry, but you can be consistent for years, but if you're not applying these tips and if you don't understand how YouTube works and if YouTube doesn't help you push out your videos, it's going to take, it's going to, it's going to be hard. Next, we're going to talk about niche. Niche is basically the topic of your channel. I think a niche is like makeup, beauty is a niche, fitness, 
my niche is self-love and positivity you know so it's good to have a niche what your channel will be about but i would definitely advise you to post videos outside of your niche for instance my niche is self-love but i do fitness videos i did a college room tour i do what's on my iphone you really have to play with these videos and see which video is going to put you out there you have to post what people want to see like there are so many videos i want to put out but if people aren't really looking for those type of videos if those videos aren't trending all in all you can have a niche you know what separates you from others what makes you different what is your channel about but also try and explore outside of your niche and see which videos blow you up the next tip i want to get into is channel layout so after people watch your videos or whatever you know and you have a potential new subscriber and they come to your channel bro don't nobody want to subscribe to someone with the profile picture with the with the letter in it get a profile picture it does not have to be professional it could be a cute selfie minus a cute selfie for now get a channel banner rather it's just your name you can also make a channel banner on canvas or snappa and my last tip is just start. If you know that YouTube is something you always wanted to do or that YouTube is something you want to do, just start. Don't wait on the right equipment. Don't wait until you get a Canon camera. Don't wait until you can afford a tripod. Use your phone. You can edit on your phone. Just start and work your way up. But I do have to remind you guys that if you're in it for the money, it's most likely to flop because when you realize that, you know, your subscribers and stuff are not going up quick, you'll get demotivated. So make sure you're doing it because you love to do it. Like me, I love what I do. Whether I get a hundred views or a thousand views, I love what I do. And that's just what keeps me going. So if you're not passionate about it and you just want to start it to just have it as another income, just know that that can possibly take a while. It does not come that easy because if it came easy, everyone would do it. Keep that in mind. So how did I gain 1,000 subscribers in two weeks, you may ask? Yeah, you guessed it. By applying all these tips. Bro, I've been on YouTube for a year. Inconsistent. I've been consistent for maybe eight weeks now. But... I've learned so much and when you learn how it works, you learn the tips and tricks and what you have to do, I'm guaranteed your channel is gonna take off. Maybe not now, maybe not next week, but it will. As long as you stay patient with it, as long as you're passionate about it, as long as you stay consistent. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope it was useful. I hope you took notes. Keep in mind, you can do it if you believe you can achieve. Subscribe to my channel. Turn the notification bell on so you don't miss a video. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Take care of yourselves and never forget. Self-love is the best love. Thank you.